villages also has got the power now. It's a new thing that we have got to know that. Most of the work has been done by the women sarpanch. It is the first uh, skill village of uh, India. This is one of the few places which has not been affected by demonetization. Hi, this is Suresh. Last week I gave this assignment for our students. We gave a case study to discuss individually. So when we talk about case studies, everybody talks about big brands. Amazon, Flipkart. We thought we'll do something different, which nobody talks about. So we took two villages, Akodara and Daramali, and I asked them to research, come up with their study. So let's see how it goes. So we are going to come up with your inputs and what is the learning that you are going to get? How combined you learn something? Individually, what did you come up with? How interesting it is? Why? You know, it is important for a, from, for a digital marketing perspective, digital India perspective, right? Was there any surprises? What is the first feeling you got? They have learning centers. There's NetLeap Center. They are teaching women. They are teaching farmers. They are teaching school students. When you go through examples like these, the first thing is, how do we go digital? If we don't have cash with them, how do they uh, buy or sell things? So these problems were solved. They have a AV system that project is every time running. They are actually using those things and even the primary students like they're using tablets. They have 16 CCTVs like in my locality in Bangalore. I don't think so. I have one CCTV and they have 16 CCTV in the village. And one amazing thing I what I felt about the Zaramali is like they're charging 10,000, sorry, 1,000 rupees per unit outside. <laughs> That's yeah, that's good. Good. Yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fine, right? Some village women, they are making washing powders, chili powder. Oh, very good. And, and they're using the apps to sell the to products. Sell, sell to market it. Yeah. They yeah. are turning into entrepreneurs. Yeah. yeah. Right? The positive changes, if we can see it here, right? That's one of the biggest <laughs> things. Everything is positive. So there are a lot of other things. What else? You guys. Video calling with the collector. This was something more broad based which is uh, at, uh, in terms of adding value to our lives. We have so much of, of luxury, we have so much of Wi-Fi, but we take a lot of advantage. We sometimes, we don't care. I think yeah, we have yeah. to think through how we can be thankful for, for everything, right? The change is coming because of the necessity. Right, yeah. Yes. Right? yeah. Whereas yes. for us, it's like, okay, we have an option. Uh, it's like, you know, rich, spoiled kid yes. who has everything. You would not want to go work in exactly, and it's led by women, right? Mm -hmm. And that's a that's a great thing, right? So, mm -hmm. and imagine how much change a woman can make. That's a very good example, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Everybody has got a laptop or a yes. smartphone. Yeah. Imagine, mm -hmm. everybody has got almost seventy percent. But what we can learn is there are a lot of things from your discussion and I'm, I'm taking and saying. The ICC has taken a lot of initiative, correct? So they've taken an amazing initiative to do this. See, breaking a pattern, it's not easy, right? Most of the time we are comfortable. We never change. How do you go to break the pattern? They are ready to take that. That is something that we need to learn. Apps. They build apps. And how many of us know how to build apps? Imagine how much of, of technology they are advanced. We can learn a lot from, from them, right? So they are good digital marketers. At the same time, their dedication, look at the dedication that they have, right? The video that they do with the collector. If somebody comes and do a live video, you guys are shy, running away. Yes, everybody's shy in front of camera, but if we have to live in today's life, we'll have to be in front of camera. By the way, the, the entire city, uh, village is oh, Wi-Fi. Right, 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 right. yeah. Man, Bangalore, we have three Wi-Fi's, <laughs> nothing works. <laughs> They're going green. We are not doing it. We are still printing paper and wasting all the things. Their older people are yeah. able to adapt to this new technology. It's amazing. Everything is new for them, but they are taking the initiative to do it. The reason why they are different is because I think they have the hunger. They yeah. have the hunger. They want to know. They want to kind of experience it. Yes, I went to a, a small city in, uh, in Hyderabad. I mean, 300 people were there. Everybody was interested to learn. Why? They are hungry for things, right? Hungry for learning. So I think so we need to take pride in it more than anything else. The question for you guys is, well, did you learn something today? Was it useful that we discussed about yeah. this one? Look at these villages and understand 
how things can be implemented. We need to start thinking positive, start thinking new, start thinking innovative. So I have to see what is my necessity and based on that I will learn something back in that. Excellent. Once you get digitized, you are going to change lives in very possible ways. I am talking about we are very lazy to be honest with you. We don't go beyond what we supposed to do. They think we are the superior, the villages doesn't have the power, they doesn't have energy, they doesn't have the skill. It's time to change. There is no uh, a specific age for knowledge. Anything. What we can do. Mm. And now we can look at them and learn. Good. I think we did a wonderful job of round of applause for the research. And you know, I think you know it's much more motivating.